Hi, my name is Heather and I am an oil painter and a mixed media artist. I have a request from Cindy Bell wanting to know how do I use textures? That's my baby girl. <laughs> um, uh, how do I use textures? And so I'm going to create some tags. I'm going to tell you about, I think I use four or five different types of textures. And uh, hopefully you find this video to be helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will um, for future art videos. And let's get right to it. Okay, Cindy, this one is for you. So the first um, texture that I'm using is just straight up old texture paste. Um, and this is Ranger's brand. And you can use this through a stencil, which is what I'm doing here. And the reason my stencil, um, it came out kind of brown is because I had some vintage photo on my stencil, but it normally doesn't do that. And so then the next texture that I'm using is uh, Crackle Paste. And I'm just using that through a stencil as well. You can spread this all over your piece before you do any kind of other, um, adding any other kind of color or mediums to give it that crackle effect, which is cool. And um, the next texture that I'm using, this one is glass beads, I think. Yes, it's glass beads. And they have like little beads in it, which is really cool dries clear uh, which is also cool and it it really raises off of the paper a lot so you can see there how, what that looks like and this next one that i'm using this is a ceramic stucco and this like for real looks like stucco that's like could be on a house and the next thing i'm using this is an embossing paste embossing paste and it um is glossy and it's pretty cool and I'm using this through a stencil as well you can even see how glossy it is compared to the other things on the paper and then of course you want to make sure this is dry I'm more or less making a master board right now um, and just showing you these textures that I'm using um, but you can use these in any mixed media artwork. And I believe, yes, this is, I'm putting crackle paste through this and this is gonna give it like um, the crackle effect, which is really neat. And so now I'm just gonna add some color. I'm using a, a distress paint here with water. And I forget the, um, the names of these colors. They're actually, um, I'm not exactly sure what, the, what they are. They're um, the distress paints. I think one is like peacock feathers and I'm not exactly sure, but these distress paints are very cool. And I'm kind of just showing you like what the color looks like over the texture. And there's like a million different things that you could do, um, you know, with the texture over it. You could like paint over it like precisely, uh, so many things. In this case, I'm just, you know, trying to make a really cool background because I'm making tags. And so this will ultimately all come together in the end. And I'm using all different kinds of dilution inks, which are a lot of fun and water and making splatters and just having a lot of fun creating these. This is really a master board is what I'm creating. But well, I'm creating it with different textures so that you can see what you can do um, with all these different kind of mediums. And then I was just, uh, I took some um, Dilutions ink and I sprayed it through a stencil. And so it really looks like a hot mess, but in the end, you'll see it really comes across really cool with what I do with it. Little makeup sponge and I'm rubbing the ink all around. And this is a vintage photo, um, Tim Holtz um, ink spray 
I believe is what it's called. And that's really cool. I really like that. And now I'm just making some drips with some Dilutions ink. And this ink is super shimmery and super awesome. And I just, I've been using it like on everything lately because it shimmers. And now I'm taking some, just some stamps and stamping on my piece. And then I got some, um, some gold rub and I'm rubbing over the texture and you see how it's making that pop out. It's really cool. And I'm doing that over all the texture that is raised above the sheet. So I'm bringing these like clocks out and all the letters. I'm just stamping butterflies all over the place on this one. Had a little extra room so I added some more butterflies. Acrylic paint and I'm going over all of the little numbers to really make them stand out. And then I'm just taking some gesso and water and making splatters all over the place. And I'm doing the same on this page as well. And then I did it with some black acrylic paint. And now I'm taking some cosmic shimmer mist and misting it all over each um, page. And that, when it dries, it dries really shiny and sparkly, and it's really awesome. Then I'm taking some more of the uh, gold metallic rub, and I'm going over all of the letters. And do you see how they're, like, popping out? It's really neat. And then I'm just taking some black acrylic paint and putting some circles all over the place. I really love this one. This one speaks to me. And so what I did is I put uh, these master boards through my uh, Sizzix and um, I cut out some tags. And do you see, look how cool uh, they look. Like the master board in itself looked kind of like a hot mess, just all kinds of stuff everywhere. And then when you cut them out and put them in these tags, it's like, wow, so pretty. And so I'm going to do a giveaway with these tags. I'm going to give three of these tags away. All you have to do to enter to win is uh, leave me a comment, uh, introduce yourself, tell me something that you like to learn in mixed media, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that is it. And then next Monday, on the uh, Monday the 10th, I will use the comment picker and pick three winners. So that will be fun. And so you can see I'm just I'm gluing coffee dyed paper um, on the back of each of them. And then I'm using some vintage photo and uh, going around the edges. I think it's really cool how that masterboard 
all that kind of chaos on a paper and then you cut them up and it looks really, really neat. Like, wow, you know? And then I just got some, um, what do you call those little things? The little backers. Um, yeah, those little circle things. I can't even think about what you call them. <laughs> but yeah, put those little circle things on all your tags to protect them. And I used Sari Silk for my ribbon. I love Sari Silk. I got my Sari Silk on Etsy. So pretty. You can also iron it and it, it like it's really really pretty or you can use it all wrinkly and yeah so I got mine on Etsy and I can't think of the name but um I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box Anyways, that's really it. I um, I hope you found this video to be helpful. There are so many mediums and so many textures that you can use um, in your mixed media artwork. This is just one way that I'm showing you with tags um, and fun and easy. We're making a master board with texture. So um, I hope you found this to be helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.